So in order to restore humankind to unity with God, i.e. save the species human, nothing needs to happen to God, nothing needs to happen to his law, something needs to happen to the condition of humankind. So with that in mind, let's look what the Bible actually says about Abraham. Uh, Romans 4, 1 and 2, this is the good news version. What shall we say then of Abraham, the father of our race? What was his experience? If he was put right, pause, What's another name for put right? Justified. Justified. Okay, that's justification. If he was put right with God by the things he did, he would have something to boast about, but not in God's sight. The scripture says Abraham believed God, and because of his faith, God accepted him as righteous. This is, uh, this is what happened. So, according to scripture, Romans 8, 7, what is the natural state of the sinful human heart? Enmity, some say hostility, is, is that, would that be a state, the natural state of the sinner? Do we naturally trust God and love him, or do we naturally distrust him and are hostile to him? What's the natural state? According to scripture, distrust and hostile, Romans 8, 7. Therefore, when Abraham trusted God, that is evidence of a change in his natural state of heart. Distrust went to trust. And therefore, after he trusts God, then God recognized him as put right, set right, justified, or righteous. Because he was changed. This is not a legal accounting. This is an actual inner working of the spirit, the, the, the spirit of truth, drawing and wooing, knocking on the door to the heart. We open the heart, we let Christ comes in, and we have a change. That's the setting right. 